Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to test this fuel shutoff solenoid to make sure it's working correctly. This solenoid is from my Mark IV 1999 Volkswagen Jetta with the diesel 1.9 liter ALH engine. This is a simple electromagnetic solenoid. Let me show you the part a little closer. On the bottom where my thumb is, you can see the steel or metal plunger. It's under minor spring load, and on my index finger is the threaded post where the electrical connector goes. Um, what this solenoid is intended to do is shut off fuel supply to the injectors when the engine is turned off, the ignition is turned off. So normally, when it's off, this spring would be extended, right? It's not drawn in from the solenoid. It's in its outer position, therefore preventing fuel flow from the high pressure fuel pump to the injector lines. I'm gonna test this today using this benchtop power supply. I've got it set on 12 volts and I've turned the amperage down quite low. It doesn't require a lot of amperage to test this. Um, I'm going to connect the black connector to this spring low, or excuse me, to the threaded terminal. Now, when I, when I take this red lead and touch it on this housing, you should see this, this plunger magnetically drawn in. And when I release the red lead, this plunger should be returned. Because it's under spring load, it may kind of eject from the housing a bit because there's nothing stopping it when it's not installed in the vehicle. Let's try it. So I take the red lead, and I'm just going to touch the red lead onto the housing of the solenoid and watch the plunger. Plunger is drawn in when current is applied meaning fuel is now allowed to run through the or from the high pressure fuel pump to the injector lines. When I release this, again, you may see this plunger kind of eject out of there and maybe even fly across my countertop, but um, when installed in the car, it clearly can't do that because the pump housing prevents that. There you go. <laughs> so there's the, the plunger, here's the spring. So in this particular case, this solenoid is working correctly and can be installed back in the car. You may wonder, why am I testing this? Well, I was replacing seals on my high pressure fuel pump, my injector pump, and in order to replace the main shaft seal, I have to remove this solenoid. So since I had it out of the car anyway, I thought might as well test it and make sure everything is working properly before I put it back in. So now I'm gonna go put this back in the car and, and know that the solenoid's working correctly. In this case, this particular engine has over 250,000 miles on it and is still running strong. I was just replacing the seals because I was starting to see a little bit of leakage coming out of the the pressure pump, the high pressure pump. And so um, just replacing those seals as a preventative measure and to prevent fuel leaking. So the car's running great and I'm gonna put this solenoid back in the car. Hope this video helps anyone um, who would like to test their solenoid to make sure that's working correctly. Um, again, hope it helps, have a great day.